This is the HP Z2 Mini, the world's first mini workstation designed for professionals. According to HP, this is made by and designed by professionals. This computer is tiny and it packs a serious punch. Inside you have an i7-6700, NVIDIA's Quadro M620, 2GB, 16GB of DDR2400 is installed, but you can expand it up to 32GB. There's also a 512GB HP MLC Z Turbo Drive PCI M.2 SSD. There's also a cradle to insert a 2.5 hard drive or SSD if you wish. On the back, you have four 1.2 display ports to hook up four monitors because, you know, it's a workstation computer. You have four USB 3.0 ports, a RJ45 network port, and two USB-C ports. From the back of the device, you know this thing is all business, giving you tons of ports to hook up your monitors and other newer products with the USB-C. It also has a built-in Wi-Fi, 5 gigahertz. All of this in a tiny computer that can fit in my hand. I mean, the thing is only 8.5 inches wide, 8.5 inches thick, and only 2.2 inches tall. It's smaller than a lot of cable boxes, gaming consoles, and other electronics. It's pretty impressive. Also, for what it's worth, it's only 4.5 pounds, like that matters as you're not going to be lugging it around. As far as upgradability or repairability, the top comes off easily with just a latch. No tools needed. It's impressive inside too, just two fans and some heat sinks. You can access the memory slots with no tools neither. One of the fans can be folded to reveal where the memory is housed. There's also that cage for the 2.5 inch storage that I mentioned earlier. Underneath the cage is where the HP's Z Turbo PCI M2 SSD is located. As you can see, the thing is a modern marvel and HP really flexed their engineering prowess with this machine. Okay, it's pretty. Hyperbolic statements aside, how well does it perform? Well, to no surprise with specs like these, you know it's gonna run great. Our model comes with Windows 7, but it did have an upgrade to Windows 10 that comes in the box. Now, if you build from HP's website, you can get Windows 10 built in too, but as of right now, a lot of the engineering software like AutoCAD runs better on Windows 7. So it's nice that HP gave us that option. We did some video editing and also did a little bit of gaming, even though it's not made for gaming, but we just wanted to see how well the Quadro ran. In video editing, we used Adobe Premiere Creative Cloud update as of April 2017. I brought in 4K MP4 footage from my Sony A7R II, 24 frames per second footage. Now, five minutes of footage rendered to H.264 codec, 4K 24 frames per second, and it took 11 minutes. Also downloaded raw 8K footage from Red's website and used their own Red Cine X to render it into 4K Apple 422 ProRes. That took 27 minutes for one minute of footage. That number may seem pretty high, but it's actually pretty expected. I was guessing around 30 minutes. Even though this is a Quadro card, you have to realize it is the mobile version of the Quadro card. If you had the full-fledged Quadro card, you will be seeing much faster render times, but in just a small package, you're gonna have a mobile video graphic processor. But if you are looking for something that can handle these large files, you definitely do have something in just a small little punch. Now, when I was working with it, I did notice the fans were kicking on and it did get pretty loud, but for the most part, it's a pretty silent computer. It also did get warm, but nothing that would worry me in the long run. But if you do have it in a cabinet or anything like that, since it's so small, I would be very, very careful keeping it enclosed. Now, as far as editing the 422 and also the MOV for my camera, it did fine. I was able to work with the footage at one half resolution with pretty much no shutters at 4K. We bumped it up to 8K. Well, <laughs> that computer, as I mentioned, it sound like a jet. Well, yeah, that's when I started hearing those fans kick on. It had a lot, a lot of issues with it, but that's expected. I mean, this is 8K raw footage. So let's pop over to gaming. I know it's not for gaming, but I like gaming, so let's see how well it does. We tried Overwatch March 28 update. 47 frames per second was the high and 35 was the low. And this was on epic settings playing at 1080p resolution. Now during this time in this video, we were using HP's monitor too. This is actually sold in a bundle and this is the HP Z24N 24 inch 16 by 10 IPS monitor. It's around 300 bucks from bnhphoto.com. The first thing I noticed is that it has very, very thin bezels. 
HP says it's a virtually borderless screen for maximum impact imagery. So if you're a person that uses multiple displays, you can really appreciate this as the bezels are so thin, it may look like one very large monitor instead of monitors slapped together. The color was pretty spot on too. And for some monitors, this is the first thing I'll do or anyone else whose profession would do. You actually have to calibrate the screen. This monitor comes pre-calibrated, so you should be okay. But if you are a professional, I do suggest getting a spider to really configure it. But out of the box, the unit is factory calibrated with 99% sRGB color gamut the very first time you power it on. And this gives you accurate colors, reliability, and also just when you go between project to project, if you have the monitors calibrated the exact same way, the image is always going to look the same. The monitor also has tons of ports too, so you have a DVI, HDMI 2 display ports, and even a mini display port too. You also have four USB 3.0 slots. You can tilt this monitor, you can raise it, you can lower it, and you can actually flip the monitor to go portrait. Overall, if you're interested in this monitor, it's a great companion for this computer, or if you're focused on more of the creative things, then this is a monitor to consider. But if you're gaming, this is not the monitor as it has a higher refresh rate at eight milliseconds. And also it is a 1080p display. So if you do need to go above 1080p, then you may have to look elsewhere. But anyways guys, this was the HP Z2 Mini. It's a computer made for professionals and a monitor to match. Let me know what you think about it down below. A big thanks to BH Photo for hooking this review up, sending it my way, allowing me to review it. I'm Kevin the Tech Ninja. Have yourself a great day and I'll talk to you folks later. Peace. Check it. Hop off my runway, it's Sunday at 2 p.m. Go hashtag scope squad to a couple of friends. Real talk, no edit. Y'all thought it, he said it. So y'all better give the tech ninja his credit. Hop off the Diddick, y'all blinded and riddick. Trolls gonna catch a slug inside that fitted cap.